so welcome back. This whole coronavirus, huh? Unreal. Just sitting down here at the uh, the old leather shop, playing tic tac toe, and I constantly lose. Whatever. Anyways, um, I've been working on a new design, and I'll put you up on the screen right now. So we're in Adobe Illustrator, and I came up, well, I didn't actually come up with it on my own. I watched another YouTuber create this little card pocket. I'll show you. Hold on for one minute. So I got this uh, this idea off another YouTuber, Haas, Haas, I think. And it's a uh, you know a card little pocket thing or pouch thing and uh, his design is this one right here which you can you know you just snap it here and then or you can unstep it here and you can grab your cards out that way and then you got two more snaps so basically you can get into this thing from front and back if you understand that but uh, of course I like the idea of it um, this is basically what it looks like so you had a, uh, a free pattern download and I downloaded this pattern and uh, kind of got the basic you know the basic design of it and decided to build one and uh, I like it but I decided to change it up and do my own so I came up with this design right here in Adobe looks like a big looks like a t-shirt really <laughs> So I, I basically did the whole thing again where I just did squares and, you know, used my line tool and just, it, it literally took me, <laughs> I'm not lying to you, a full day, probably maybe six, seven hours constantly playing around with it and printing it and then, uh, you know, putting it on paper and cutting it out and folding it and see if it works. Um, basically off his design but I wanted to do my own so it took me a while to come up with this let me come right back I'm not organized today at all so this is the one I came up with uh, it's basically kind of like his uh, I end up changing it this one uh, you can see how it's not very long the tab so you have a hard time unfucking it but um, the only thing I did different was is instead of having four snaps which is a great idea I mean I like it um, but to save on hardware I mean I like the idea that you can go on the side of it I kind of like that idea but um, so I just came up with just extending my straps and putting one rivet in the middle so then all I have for hardware is the snap and one rivet no stitching no nothing and uh, I, I kind of like it um, so that's what I did so we go back here into the Dolby so that's what I did I basically made this complete design again and then uh, I printed off to a 
pattern. Let me get that pattern. <laughs> So here's the pattern after uh, literally printing and cutting I'm not lying to you if I didn't do it at least ten times before I got it the fold right and all the things lining up and all that stuff um, I one little tip though is that if you do this on paper uh, and you fold it and you're like oh it works and then you use leather it ain't gonna work because you know you got the the thickness of the leather that's gonna cause a few problems when you're folding things over so um, I use some scrap leather and I made a couple of pieces and realized that it you know things weren't long enough and all stuff so i just went back into adobe here and i'll show you right here all i did was i stretched these these things out they were like like right here before and i just stretched them out a little bit and made these two a little bit longer and then i stretched this whole bottom half down to make this a little bit longer and then uh that got me to the point where um, everything started folding over nice to be able to get this this little pocket design and uh, yeah so uh, I'll be right back made a green one I made a uh, a brown one, but I end up selling that one, and I made a black one, and I end up selling that one. <laughs> so these are the only two I have left. This one here, I'm not going to sell because the where the button is, the snap. I mean, the uh, the leather doesn't come walk down far enough to really get you get your fingers underneath there. So I might just give it to a, a family member or somebody. This one here, you can see how it goes down a little bit further. So this one, this one's good. It's a neat little project if you uh, if you want to give it a shot. It's uh, I don't think it takes any longer than maybe 10, 15 minutes to make one. I mean, the time you cut it out of your leather and you burnish all the edges, and if you paint all the edges or dye all the edges. And then put your your snap on and then fold everything over and put your rivet on, you're done. Pretty simple. So if you want to try, you can go on Adobe or even just get his pattern and then uh, use his pattern and try to make your own if you don't want to use a computer. So that's what I did. I just crossed it over and put a snap in the middle, which is hardware and it's just I don't know. anyways that's all I got for you guys today a little bit disorganized all right I will uh, get you guys on the next one